So first, I'm just going to go ahead and remove all the decorations from fall. So you'll see me going back and forth and I'm doing that because I'm using a chair trying to get everything from the top. You'll see me going and getting some Clorox wipes and I'm just going to be wiping the top surface down. I like to start off with a clean slate when I decorate. Most of the products used in this video are either going to be from Dollar Tree or from Walmart. I think the most I spent on the items would maybe be the ornaments and that's because I bought a big pack at Walmart and I probably spent maybe like seven bucks. This garland, I got it from Dollar Tree and I'm just winding it up and trying to, <laughs> trying to put it on there. It wasn't enough, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more just to give it that oomph. Watch me as I get a little frustrated. <laughs> but I honestly, I was debating on whether or not I even wanted to decorate this year. Only because, I don't know if you remember me telling you, but we did go through a flood. So all our decorations from last year had gotten ruined. And so it was like I had to start all over again. But... I put on my big girl pants and I was like, no, we're going to decorate. Why? Because it's Alexa's first Christmas and I want her to have the same experience that my boys have. So next, I am going to put this Merry Christmas sign up and I also got this from Dollar Tree. Those little red ornaments on the side are also from Dollar Tree and I thought that they were really cool because they had little alligator clips. There goes the mirror. He was so excited. He wanted to help, but the only thing was is that this was way too tall and I didn't want him to injure himself in the process. So next is the bottom of the entertainment center and I'm just going to go ahead and take that. Take these pictures down and just try to clean this surface a little bit better. Also going in with those Clorox wipes. I'm going to lift up this speaker bar and just wipe all the dust away as best as I can. So now I'm just going to walk over on the other side and just clean up, lift up the sound bar, and wipe away all the dust. I think you really don't realize how dirty your stuff is until you pick up that wipe because I really had no idea that there was this much dust on the surface. So now I'm just going to be wrapping around this garland around my hand, giving it like this coil effect and stretching it out just to give it a little bit more length. I also got this one from Dollar Tree. Next, I'm going back in with those little ornaments and these are also from Dollar Tree. These are the ones I was telling you about that they had the little alligator clip on the ends. So it was really easy just to clip them on and I found this bell also at Dollar Tree. I honestly think all my products are from Dollar Tree except my ornaments. So I ended up finding a few more of these clips so I'm just going to be arranging them. And these flowers, you know what, these flowers, I got these at Walmart. And I just took them off the stem and placed them where I wanted them. So next I'm just going to be taking everything off of Alex's trophy helmet. I think we're just so used to setting stuff down we don't realize how much clutter we really put on our stuff. So I'm just going to be taking the stuff and placing them where they belong. Wiping it down with this Clorox pipe. I think it's so funny because Alex, he loves the Cowboys and Amir loves the Texans and I think it's so funny just seeing them going back and forth about their teams. So here's what it looks like and it looks a lot better. Why? Because I turned on the light. I don't know why I was filming before without the light, but it's on now 
and this is what it looks like. So now I'm just going to be wiping away the TV, just getting all the handprints and the smudges off of it. I went in with some Windex and just a, a napkin. So Amir wanted to take down the wreath, but Alex was being childish. So there he goes, he made his appearance, but he's a little camera shy. So Amir is just gonna take down the wreath and now he didn't know what to do. <laughs> So Amir, he's such a big help. He's in his little macho man stage to where he thinks he could do anything and lift anything. So we just let him slide this tree over. He was so happy. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> so if you see me and my outfit changes, it's because we decided that we were gonna try this one day when I got off of work, but it didn't work out that way. And you'll see later on so there goes baby Lex making her little appearance and by this time Alex was just like let me do it so I was like okay I'm gonna just let you do it we ended up forgetting the lights guys I don't know what I was thinking and why I was trying to put ornaments on the tree without lights So, I don't even think Alex knew that I was filming, or I don't think he remembered that I was filming, because he is so camera shy. But, we got to get him on here a little bit longer, and you'll see him just wrapping the lights around the tree. <laughs> I think at this point in time, Alex probably knew that there wasn't going to be enough lights, but I don't know. I know I was thinking that the whole time. So he did go to the store and right here he's telling me that the lights that he got, they were the wrong color. He got the white ones instead of the green ones. So he's just trying to make it work again. I think I just love watching this because he's trying so hard to try to make this work and it's not gonna work. So here goes Alex still trying to make it work. But at this point he was trying to tell me, he's like, nope, you're just gonna have to deal with what you got. Like we're not gonna be spending a fortune on lights. He's like, just make this work for now. <laughs> And so we stopped the video again and you'll see us the next day. So the next day you'll see us, we're plugging the lights and Amir, he's such a big help again, like I said before, and he's just helping me wrap the lights around. He wanted to do as much as he could as possible. So there goes Armani, uh, he, he couldn't really see him, but he had found some of my flowers. And we're just going to be putting those up there. Now we're moving the tree back and just placing the ornaments on. So I wanted to jazz it up a little bit. Our colors for our tree were silver and gold. But I felt like we needed a little bit more, so I went ahead and got this ribbon at Dollar Tree. And we're just going to be making like this little bubble effect. And at first I really didn't know how to do it, and then I finally had got the hang of it. So what I did was I got the ribbon, and I got one of the little stems from the tree, and I just wrapped the stem around the tree. And I just repeated it over and over and over again. 
So last year our tree was silver and blue and I bet y'all can guess why it was like that. Of course Alex and his cowboys and Amir was like mom let's not do blue this year. Let's just not do it. <laughs> so we went ahead and that's why we stuck with silver and gold. So next I'm just going in with that red ribbon again and one thing I noticed was that I used the whole entire ribbon going from above the tree downward and I used maybe, I want to say I used four of them. I didn't really decorate the back because nobody was going to see that part of the tree. So now I'm on my last ribbon and I didn't show this side that much because I was kind of blocking it and all you could really see was my backside. So this is what the tree looks like in the lighting and yep, we're still not done with it though. This is just what it looks like so far. So next I'm just going to be hanging up these stockings and I also got these from Dollar Tree. I went ahead and I got the elves for the boys and the sequin ones for the girls. Now I'm just going to be going ahead and doing this on the other side as well. Amir was a little bummed out because he wanted a sequin one and he was like mom these are boy colors so why can't I have one and I was just like man I already got them so you're just going to have to deal. So next, I'm just going to be removing everything from the shelf. And as you can tell, this is Alex's trophy shelf. He loves to put his cowboys and also Astro stuff on here. You can see I tend to put some of my things on there and I really shouldn't. I have a few pumpkins, some vitamins, and some face moisturizer. <laughs> also um some candles and some ribbons and some more pumpkins but he loves me so he doesn't mind so we're just gonna be taking all this off and wiping it away with the clorox wipe as well you know guys i really hope that you find this video helpful if you're like me and you just weren't in the christmas spirit because you were on a budget you know Dollar Tree is always there and they always have really cute stuff that you can just build up and make your own so now I'm just removing everything from the top shelf that I could reach you'll see me get a ladder and I'll just go and remove everything from the other side as well some of this stuff is from Alex's job so <laughs> We just have a habit of getting our stuff and putting it up where like the kids can't reach and just forgetting about it and leaving it there and we really shouldn't but that's what happens most of the time. So next I'm just going to be putting on the rest of this garland and I already did the other side. I was trying to do it at first with tacks but it didn't work out that way. So I ended up using this regular scotch tape that you use just to wrap gifts. I really didn't mind putting tape on there because you weren't going to be able to see it whenever I put the rest of the decorations on there. So it really didn't bother me. I just went ahead and taped the middle part just so that I can um, have a little bit more support and it wasn't weighing down the rest of the garland to where the tape wasn't going to hold it. So now I'm just doing that very bottom corner, doing the same motion. That's so funny, baby. <laughs> you want to be in my voiceover? So now I'm just putting back most of the stuff 
that was on the shelf before like Alex's pictures and his astro sign so I have this little snow globe and it has Mary Joseph and baby Jesus and I ended up getting this I don't know what to call this it's for candles but I got it at Dollar Tree but I just put the little globe inside of there fit perfectly now I'm putting my bless sign and my mason jars and I just switched out the flowers giving it more of a Christmas feel <laughs> And this is what it kind of looks like right now. And I'm just placing things where I felt that they should go. You'll see me later on. And I didn't like the way I placed them. So I'm just going to be moving them later on. I really am trying to figure out where I want certain stuff. So there goes Amir's little nutcracker. And it was a Texan one. I got this one at Walmart. Oops. Don't tell him I dropped it. <laughs> but I got this one at Walmart for about like seven bucks. And I figured why not put it on Alex's little trophy shelf. He'll never notice. <laughs> so with that alligator clip ornament, I just put it on Alex's little cowboy's frame thing? I don't even know what to call this. My mom got it for him one year. So now I'm going to be placing Alex's picture back up there from when he was in high school along with some other pictures. Here's a little cowboy shot glass that I'm just going to place up here. Now I'm going to be fixing these little flowers a little bit better just so that I could see the snow globe so even though this snow globe is a little bit shorter than these flowers I still found that it looks so beautiful and now I didn't like how this picture was laying flat against the shelf so I went ahead and angled that and also the frame as well and I'm going to now put up my candle. I like to try to keep it a little bit higher so that the kids won't mess with it. It's always a hazard when you have a flame going and you have plenty of kids around. So I ended up putting these poinsettia flowers and I felt like these made a great accent piece. They really made everything just tie together and look way more festive. They always remind me of my grandma because she always had real potted flowers just like these. So I ended up just clipping the stem away with my nail clippers and I made this little hook. I was trying to decide on whether I wanted to put it on top or in the shot glass and I decided just to put it in the shot glass. So here's a better view of what this looks like. I really love how it all came together. And next you'll see me show you my ornaments. I ended up getting these ornaments from Walmart in a pack of four for about $1.98. So I ended up getting two packs and I thought that they were so cute. So next I'm just going to be showing you how I decorate my ceiling and I just get this tack and I rope this string around two times and then I'll just be pushing it up into the ceiling. The kids love when I do this. It always makes a big statement as soon as you walk in the door. So this is the entertainment center. This is my shelf and then you'll see my tree i decided to put a little skirt around it and i really really love the buffalo check and i decided to do this christmas 
tree decorate video just to try to motivate everyone else because I know I wasn't motivated before and I just felt like you know sometimes we just need that little push and this was very affordable most of everything was from Dollar Tree and the things I did get from Walmart were maybe like 98 cents or a dollar 98. This little snowflake right here was from last Christmas and I want to say this is the last thing that I have from our Christmas decoration so I decided to put it on the tree and here goes baby Lex just by the Christmas tree as it's lit and you can tell she is having a blast. I'm so happy like I said that I ended up decorating. It is her first Christmas and she is six months guys. So thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.